President Donald Trump famously told supporters that he might never see his precious properties and golf courses ever again, because he'd be too busy working for Americans. He even pitched to Americans that he would use his golfing to get to know world leaders. Friday afternoon, CNN couldn't help but collect a montage of all of the times Trump has spent doing exactly the opposite. This morning, Trump tweeted that he would be heading over to play golf quickly with Tiger Woods and Dustin Johnson. That, quickly, turned into four hours. After Turkey Call I will be heading over to Trump National Golf Club, Jupiter, to play golf quickly with Tiger Woods and Dustin Johnson. And back to Mar-a-Lago for talks on bringing even more jobs and companies back to the USA, Donald J. Trump at Real Donald Trump November 24, 2017 The backlash on Twitter was swift. Perhaps because Trump previously has been caught claiming he was working on one thing via Twitter, only to be found on the golf course doing anything but. The golfing problems have been so acute, a computer science student created the Golf with Donald Tracker website, which calculates the number of times Trump has gone golfing and the overall cost incurred. Throughout the course of President Barack Obama's first year in office, he 24 rounds of golf from January 20 until November 13. In that same time, Trump has played 80 times over the course of 100 days at his own properties. That doesn't count this week. The cost of Trump's golfing has ended up costing significantly more than Obama's because Mar-a-Lago requires both land and sea security from the Secret Service. Obama played primarily at military bases, where security was already in place. Can you believe that, with all of the problems and difficulties facing the U.S., President Obama spent the day playing golf? Worse than Carter, Trump tweeted in 2014. In a later panel discussion on the same issue, political correspondent Chris Silliza noted that it isn't a problem that a president plays golf, it's that he mocked Obama for doing it. Simone Sanders agreed, saying that it's difficult to be this hypocritical when there are so many pressing issues facing the nation. Watch CNN's reports on the president's half-day work and an interview with George Bennett from the Palm Beach Post. Part 2